from the Valley of the Sun, downtown Phoenix, Arizona. And we are here at Sun Devil Stadium on the campus of Arizona State for an NFC Eastern Division battle between Philadelphia and Phoenix. Earlier this afternoon, the Dallas Cowboys took on the New York Giants, and Dallas is leading comfortably late in that game, so we will award them a victory and a spot atop the NFC Eastern Division. The Giants are second, Philadelphia and Phoenix Trail. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist along with Dan Fouts. Philadelphia comes in, Dan, with a 4-3 mark, but they've lost their last three. They've had horrible injury problems and really are struggling on defense. Well, on defense, they're 25th in the league against the run because of injuries and free agency. Today, Britt Hager will start at middle linebacker for Byron Evans. Look for the Eagles to try to plug up the middle of their defense. If they can stop the run, they'll force the Cardinals to throw the ball, and they'll have to throw it against Ben Smith and Eric Allen. Smith had a wonderful get game last week against the Cowboys, and uh, that would re really be a good battle there. Philadelphia is struggling, but if possible, the Cardinals are struggling even more. They are 2-6 and six for the season, and on offense, they really don't seem to know what uh, what's going on. Well, the, Johnny Bailey is hurt, so that hurts their cause as well. Ron Moore will start in, at the running back position, and Larry Centers will play as well. Chris Chandler starts at quarterback for Steve Berline. Uh, he will welcome back starting wide receiver Gary Clark to an already impressive receiving core. Philadelphia won the toss, and they will receive. Greg Davis will kick off from our right to left. And the deep man for the Eagles will be Herschel Walker to the left, and by Sikahema, a former Cardinal, will be to the right-hand side. One-third of his kickoffs have been touchbacks this year. And here comes Phoenix and Philadelphia. Walker chases it down in the end zone. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20-yard line. Kenny O'Brien will be the starter at quarterback for the second week in a row. Signed as a free agent when Randall Cunningham went down. And up front, he's got Thompson, Shad, Alexander, Holmstrom, and Antone Davis. The wide receivers, Lofton and Calvin Williams, Mark Bavaro the tight end, and in the backfield, Herschel Walker and Heath Sherman, who played well last week in the loss to the Dallas Cowboys. First and 10 from the 20. Gets the handoff and six yards over right guard. Eric Hill makes the top and the stop. And the Cardinals' big nickel defense, and it is big up front. Davis and Rucker, Swan and Bankston, the four down linemen. Rucker listed at 360. Eric Hill and Ken Harvey started linebacker today. Tyrone Stowe injured and inactive. Massey Zordi starts for Chuck Cecil. Chris Oldham, Lorenzo Lynch, and Aeneas Williams, who had a huge game last week despite the loss to New Orleans. He had two touchdowns in that game. Second down and five officially. Walker hit and dragged down by Eric Hill. Second tackle in as many plays. The one thing Richie Kotai told us yesterday is he, his team is not going to be conservative today. Uh, it's important for the Eagles to get on top early and force uh, the Cardinals to play from behind. And also, uh, you get to this point of the season, knowing what Joe Bugle's up against and that ultimatum from owner Bill Bidwell uh, that's on the minds of all the Cardinals. And if they get behind, uh, Kotite's feeling is that's exactly where he wants them because they'll be thinking about other things than playing football. 34. Four-man rush, O'Brien. Puts it on a string, and it's a first down at the 31-yard line. The catch made by Herschel Walker. The one thing that Eric Swan has faced a lot of the uh, last couple of weeks, the double teams. Big number 98 will get the attention of both right guard Ron Hallstrom and Dave Alexander all day long. The 49ers did this to Swan a couple of weeks ago, and uh, the Saints did it to him last week, and now already... The Eagles are going to do it to him. So that's what Swan has to see for the rest of the afternoon. First and 10 from the 31. Short set. O'Brien lobs it out, and it's caught. Lofton down the sideline. Just think back a month ago, and who would have imagined that Ken O'Brien and James Lofton will be throwing and catching for the Philadelphia Eagles. I know both of them didn't think they would be. Uh, you know, 
way, strange thing the way it turns out, but if you stay in shape long enough, and both uh, O'Brien at the age of uh, 32 and Lofton at 37 have stayed in good shape, they know that injuries are a big part of the game, and they were ready when called upon. Lofton caught four last week, and that's his first, and his first down at the 48-yard line. Maurice Johnson starts in motion to the left. They hand it off to Herschel Walker, and he's not going to get much. Robert Massey flying high made the tackle, number 40. Massey makes a real nice play, and, and also Lorenzo Lynch, left side of the screen, you see number 29, and his job is to force things wide to where Massey is, comes up with the big right hand and, and punishes Herschel up high, where it's very difficult to bring him down. Keith Sherman comes back in now on the offense. It'll be second down and nine. Pittsburgh wins it coming from behind, and Houston leading by 10 in the fourth quarter. Two wide receivers to the right side. Up the middle, big hole. And that's enough to move the chain again. He's Sherman makes the tackle. He picked up 10, and it should be the first down. It is a first down. You know, for those people that uh, don't really like the way the game is played nowadays with all the situation substitutions, they will really enjoy today's game by Philadelphia because on offense, because of injuries to uh, uh, Fred Barnett and Jeff Seidner, uh, and uh, Vic Victor Bailey has a bad hamstring, on third down situations, they're just going to leave their normal personnel in the game. Not going to be a lot of substituting by the Eagles today. On first down, they put Herschel Walker wide to the left. That's in top of your screen. And the handoff goes to Heath Sherman. He's forced inside. Stop for no gain at the 38-yard line. The tackle made by Reuben Davis, number 93. When Randall Cunningham and Fred Barnett went down, the Eagles were 4-0, and Dan, they've really struggled offensively since that point. Yeah, it's been pretty much downhill, less than uh, about a touchdown a game, about eight points they've been averaging, and... Uh, Especially with their defensive problems, they're not going to win many games as they haven't. Well, in the last three weeks, an average of eight points per game. Second down, 11. O'Brien with time, goes left, man open, caught. Hayes Sherman makes the grab, and that's another Philadelphia first down at the 17-yard line. Well, here he is right here. He's going to swing out of the backfield. O'Brien just throws a real nice touch pass here. He had to get it in over the, defenser, the, the defender on this play. And it's Robert Massey, who's a pretty good defender. Not used to seeing a running back go deep on him. And that's a big play for the Eagles as Ken O'Brien's got a hot hand. Three of three for 47 yards. Buffalo beats New England in overtime. First down and 10, no score, opening drive of the game. Trap play inside. East Sherman down to the 12. Dan said something about the significance both teams have placed on scoring early in this game. That's not an accustomed position for either. Throughout the season, Philadelphia has scored first only twice, and the Cardinals have scored first just once. And it, it, so much of it's just a morale uh, problem with both teams. Both teams are struggling. And the Eagles have lost three in a row, and the Cardinals have, are playing under an ultimatum from their owner. That ultimatum, in case you uh, somehow have been out of the country, they must have a winning season or there's going to be changes made. And they're close to the point where it becomes an impossibility. They are two and six. You see, the last couple of running plays have been right up the middle. The uh, Cardinals have done a good job against uh, the Eagles on wide running plays in this first drive. And so now they go back. Uh, it's back and forth type of thing between Fritz Shermer, defensive coordinator of Phoenix, and Zeke Bradkowski, the offensive coordinator for Philadelphia. There's Zeke Bradkowski. And it's third down and two. No score, opening drive of the game. 